All right, FAQ number 103. What set of parents should adopted, adopted children honor? Well, uh, this is another one that, that uh, I can't give uh, crystal clear scripture on it. Um, and there's, again, I can't just simply say, well, this is the, the way it works every single time. Well, there's going to be exceptions to, you know, it, it depends on the different situation. Let me show you, of course, one of the greatest uh, adopted children out there. Uh, Luke chapter 2, um, verse 46 it says here, And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. It's Jesus is talking about here. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. Okay. So she is his birth mother, but Joseph is his adopted father. Uh, Mary, it's talking about there. Verse 49, And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? Speaking about God. In other words, he's, he's saying, I'm not, he wasn't there trying to get a contract to do some carpentry work around the place because of Joseph, his adopted father. He was there doing his actual birth father's will. So in that sense, he honored God the Father, his birth father, and, you know, I don't want to say dishonored, but he, he put, secondly, Joseph, you know, as his adopted father. Uh, so I would simply say that um, it depends, though. See, again, you know, what's the situation? Uh, there are times when you have uh, birth parents that are, they give up their child because they're doing drugs or alcohol or whatever else, and they have no desire for God, and you get a Christian couple that adopts that child, and they raise the child right, and they do all the right things by that child. Uh, well, who are you going to honor? You see... You say, well, I have to honor my adopted or my, my birth parents and not my adopted parents. But what if your birth parents are really, really wicked people? See, um, so, you know, that the answer to that question, I can't just give a straight answer and just say, well, in all, in all cases, you have to honor your birth parents first, and your adopted parents second. Uh, it doesn't always work that way. Um, it depends on uh, as far as. Uh, you know, what's the situation there? Are the adopted parents, you know, saved? Are they bad themselves? Uh, you know, are your birth parents saved? Are they bad? You know, I would say that you would want to try to honor your birth parents, but uh, if they're very wicked people, and, and, you know, and again, people have a skewed idea of what it means to honor. You know, um, Honoring your parents does not mean that you're a doormat, okay, that they walk all over you and things like that. Uh, no, it doesn't mean that. Honoring your parents is telling them the truth, uh, even if it hurts and even if it breaks up the relationship. That's honoring your parents. A lot of, again, a lot of people don't understand that. Uh, just, just continually submitting and letting them come and walk all over you and come to your home and just not care about the rules of your house and everything like that, that's not honor. You're not honoring them in a situation like that. Um, so that's how I would answer that question.